Yay, it's more Phantasma, whatever the fuck this is. It's Goria with a side of Phantasma. We're back, and uh, from the last chapter, again, no idea what happened. It ended up with bickering with the guy on the phone. Don's still an asshole. And... Yeah, yeah, that's called character development. <laughs> he went from jerk to asshole. Okay. And, and she's crying tears of blood, realizing the marriage that she is in. <laughs> I, I don't blame you. Adrian. No, she was she was clearly dreaming about herself, watching herself sleep and dream about uh, having. I, I can't follow it actually. Sorry. I think the past four chapters were all a dream. She slept with her sneakers on. Yeah. Oh well, she's a woman on the go. Yeah, uh, you got to be able to get up and flee from dawn at a moment's notice. <laughs> oh, time to work on our novel. <laughs> oh, it's eight thirty. Look at the beautifully rendered sky. In the back. <laughs> Wow. Isn't that an alien gun from Halo? Like farting? Oh yeah, she, she's made progress. <laughs> this is that's excellent, really. My editor's gonna have a field day with this, Adrian thinks. I think I think that's a puzzle solved. Yeah, a puzzle looked at is a puzzle solved. Corinthians 913. I don't think I've ever actually seen her open the computer. I feel like it's always just on some weird screensaver or gibberish text. Yeah, and she's always looking disgusted at it and then immediately closing it. Which <laughs> I would guess is the common response to her novels. Or playing Phantasmagoria. Yeah. I've actually tipped my monitor over four times so far. <laughs> Are we going to investigate the fart cloud? I think she was actually reading the plot summary there. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, this... This is that weird secret room we found by destroying one of the walls in our house. Oh yeah, the room of pure unbridled excitement. I think the final puzzle in this game is going to be signing divorce papers. <laughs> She's walking into a bowling pin. Uh-oh. Something's going on with that mirror. It's a portal to a better game! Uh, yeah, your mirror's a little bit out of shape. Uh, it's a little broken, but we can fix it. You need to uh, resync your V-Sync there, and uh... oh, she, his wife talks too much. And this is the ironic punishment for it. Oh, uh, yeah, he could have just done that. Yeah, forget the forget the vice. He didn't I'll need just... the complex machinery. He just needed the scarf. But wait, it's not even attached. This is why magicians should never be chiropractors. How is she still screaming? Oh. Well, when you uh, sever a woman's head, it screams for about seven hours afterwards. There's, there's so much about women I don't know. Yeah. Damn, she's good. This is like the 12th rotation. <laughs> It's a Kevlar spine is the thing. They had them back then. And for my next trick... <laughs> Thank you. Please tip your waiters. Oh, Carno. I know that wasn't him, but... Orphans love it! Wait, that's not? <laughs> I, I assume that was Carno. <laughs> I love because she has... What game have I been I, watching? I love because she like, has to return to the ready state that she's like, screams yeah. and freaks out, but then, okay, it's, it's over. <laughs> Never mind. Back to exploring. No. Posture is important in horror games. Her name is Adrian. Nothing phases me, Phantasmagoria. Uh, Adrian gets over it quickly. Oh, man. 8.30, it's when all the satanic portals come out of the mirrors. <laughs> no, don't go in. You know it's bad news. Well, how come this mirror isn't like the best of Carno like the other mirror was? <laughs> or whoever the guy is. Oh, not again. I, what the... So this one, <laughs> this guy wanted his wife to talk louder, I said. Yeah. I prepared all your favorites. Mm. All your favorites. Cherry cobbler and that's it. For starters, giblets. Is he gonna like chew it up and spit into her mouth like a baby bird? I would... She can't eat like that. <laughs> oh, there you go. There we are, yeah. He's poking it with a scroll. That where is it? He's actually being very merciful. She lost her teeth in a terrible accident years back. <laughs> do you like dessert pizza? You do now! <laughs> I guess that is Carno. 
Well, yeah, we're running out of characters here. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. All right, now, no, Carno, you're just stirring it around there. It's not even going. Yeah. Right, give it some time. Just... I'm doing really good. <laughs> she died as she lived, dying. <laughs> And she's she's scared, but in in five seconds. Yeah, we're gonna be posture perfect. And technically, it's not magic; it's more of murder. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm a murder titian. <laughs> Don, what have you been doing to the mirrors? <laughs> I've been. Are they out of sync again? I've been installing video screens. Oh look! Oh good. Great. Hodor Jr. Uh, your she dumb husband fell into the pit. Wait, what for, Cyrus? Is there another mirror in there? Because there's some interesting shit on those. Uh, I, I think it has something to do with. Uh, oh come on, no. So this is just the waiting game then. Oh, the yeah, the stupid game. I meant sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. No, we're playing that. It's no, a game within a game. It's called a mini game. Well, if you're supposed to follow her, why? Come to the barn. Nah, forget that. I gotta, I gotta watch more women die on mirrors. Maybe, maybe this is the time to get out of the house, Adrian. I don't know. This mirror's not working. It's just showing people. Yeah, no, this is the appropriate response to everything that's been happening. Yeah. I'll just... After everything you've seen, you're gonna want to consult the fortune teller. <laughs> The fortune is get out, you idiot. <laughs> and you won solitaire. Congratulations. You are screwed. Are watching you. So what's the you point? Oh God, she's talking from us. <laughs> no, uh, what's the point of the tarot cards if it just spits out a fortune? <laughs> Why does she even need them? I, I don't know, though clearly the Garden Gnome Lady knew more about the tarot cards than these infernal machines. <laughs> Another toss. <laughs> the old fortune toss. She's really good. It's a shame that's not a mini game. Yeah. We could have won some kind of achievement by now. Well, anyway, now I'll go to the barn, sure. Yeah, I bet that thing's like half full of Don's spit. <laughs> Ding. I wonder where Don is. Hopefully far away from here. Oh, he's at the bar with the uh, telephone guy. <laughs> they're laughing at how, how they're freaking out his wife. <laughs> so let's say, what the? I, I put my garden no mom in a big sack. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, he's getting ready for a date. Uh, oh. oh hey, you want to hit the sack shit. with me, baby? <laughs> Oh, it's not a giant pouch. Oh, I think this is going to be a dinner date. Oh, no. Is this comedy? This is the worst improv troupe I've ever seen. And that is saying something. I now pronounce you married. <laughs> See what happens when you put vagrants into your barn? You get a better husband. But I mean, really, you do. Yeah, but look how well those tree stumps were cut. I mean, come on, you gotta give him credit for that. <laughs> it's called making mountains out of a molehill. Whoa. Oh, Wait, is she smiling? Of the netherworld, heed us now. Talk to us so Adrian, didn't you just see, like, visions of murder and shit? Are you sure you want to be doing all this? Yeah, she sees, like, the most horrible, weird things, and then she just doesn't tell anybody. She's even, like, smiling here. She's totally yeah. forgotten. <laughs> Adrian nonplussed Phantasmagoria, which is her maiden name. Acting lessons, I summon thee! <laughs> oh, this... Obviously, seances are bullshit, then. <laughs> Your mom, she's a real stupid ass. <laughs> this is still the best date I've ever been on. Silver starfish, guide me to the truth. <laughs> what? Oh. Mom's puking caviar again. 
<laughs> this is probably the best result that you could have hoped for in this situation. I knew I shouldn't have eaten all that slime before doing a seance. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> Still better than Don. Is this a friendly NPC? Uh, of sorts? I guess as far as uh, NPCs that can be summoned through your throat, yeah. <laughs> Mucus head sure is helpful though. Step into the light, Carolan. to infect once more. Really, Adrian? No reaction? Well, she's putting her arms to the side. There is. Only you can send it back. Find the dragon. Okay, so she's the chosen one just by the fact that there's nobody else there? I think it's her consolation prize for living with Don. Oh yeah, get to talk to Puke Man. <laughs> and be the chosen one. You gotta get some. Yeah. Oh. I knew I bought this house for a reason. <laughs> what? Oh, what sorry, was I disgusting? <laughs> Where's Cyrus? Well, you puked Carno. <laughs> no what? Harriet, you did it. You really did it. Um, it? We don't want to <laughs> specify though. Now, are you? No. no. Puking! Puking is it! You might want to get an endoscope. That's never happened before. <laughs> I, I should fucking hope not! <laughs> Did I puke another man? Oh god, this happens every day! <laughs> She's really fired up about that. That would be something I wouldn't be proud of. Call me crazy. Oh, anyway. Back to. Well. Back to our horrible life. So, we're, we're really going to stay in this house after all that? Serious? Well, yeah. I mean, where else would you go? She paid for it. Are these all people laughing at the mucus head we just saw? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the development staff. <laughs> They just recorded themselves coding this like, what? You want us to put what in this? <laughs> seven? Okay, Roberta. <laughs> we'll need one entire disc of the seven just for that scene, okay. though. So she pukes up a guy's face. Okay, we'll put that in. <laughs> I want some really gruesome shit in the mirrors, but some really weird-ass vile stuff in the barn. You know, keep it light. Comedy and tragedy. The Don's just having a big dinner party in the next room. <laughs> Friends of Don. <laughs> oh, don't do oh. it. Don't, it's gonna, you're gonna go, don't go three for three. This is just gonna make Don angrier and more surly. Yes, do it. <laughs> okay, what's that? Whoever the guy is, up to his old tricks now. There's no ironic murder here. This murder's broken. <laughs> oh, you're just figuring that out now? Wow, it's like, it's not showing what's actually happening. That's odd. My reflection's not here either. I'm a vampire. I, I need to kill myself. I better check again just to make sure. Well, well, look who's here. <laughs> oh god this wife at least gets a line I'm here to kill you ironically oh Cardo's one weakness wine wait what oh that was a what is he the joke okay so he he shoved her face into a bottle and just said, here's to you. Yeah, and it was just like... How is that c clever? It was also just the right angle and then broke off at just the right time. That That's actually his best trick. Oh, no! Oh, wait, she, she just reacted. <laughs> the third one's really what hit home for me. Yeah, she saw a woman puke up a severed head. 
she saw uh, a woman get force fed to death and a woman get her head twisted. But oh no, when a woman fell asleep on a bottle, time to cry. Don, I really think this giant palace was a bad idea. Yoo-hoo, back here, I'm naked. Back here. <laughs> I gotta find more mirrors. All right, now yeah, they say mirrors are a doorway to your soul. <laughs> Her soul is fucked up. It's, I I blame Carno. I think. What did he do again? He was okay. just an evil magician. Wait, so wait, no. Okay, so Carno got puked up, and he said that the curse or somebody got infected or something. I I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I bet Carno, for his magic act, summoned a demon. You know, which is what I think happened to David Copperfield. Yeah. So, this time now, she's going to have to stop it. And No, don't don't look. You know what's going to happen. It, we... Oh, I didn't think full motion video was going to happen. <laughs> oh, it's all reflective surfaces. Wait, what? Wow. Uh, uh, the cat, too? Do you know no bounds in your evil cardo? Or maybe this was just Don. Or he just kills anything with a pussy. Wait a sec. This, that's her cat, right? That, like, the Stop. dumb guy tried to kill? Uh, yeah, I thought Billy Bacon was eating the cat, but that could be it. Cyrus! Did you kill my cat? It couldn't be all the demonic shit I've been seeing, right? Oh, jeez. Oh, she's tiny. Or huge. I can't tell. Yeah, what's going on with the perspective here? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go into the giant chair room. She's hanging off the ledge of the set. Well, we, we didn't solve any puzzles or anything today. So she's just staring at the wall. Yeah, actually, she's not even near the fireplace. No. And then there's Carol Channing up there looking down wistfully. Didn't we just go out here? Like, we had a cutscene that brought us one room back for no reason? Yeah! And this scene was so good, they're <laughs> playing it twice for you! Yeah! Let's, let's go mourn the cat some more. Give them what they want, is what Roberta Williams says. <laughs> also, what do they want? <laughs> if someone could tell me that first, that would really help. My game design. Yeah, not necessary. Just slow me down. Okay, so... She we left were... the house to enter the house. Yeah, I, she actually did do that. She gets surprised by the damn party music again. Only, only my best friend, the fortune teller, can help me now. How many fireplaces do they have? Um, several thousand. <laughs> There's one on the other side of the wall. How warm do you need to be? All right, hopefully the rest of the game is just cycling between these three rooms. Yeah. And who's filling up all the fireplaces with logs anyway? Hey, you know what's a really smart idea when, like, there's all monsters and ghosts and shit is going underground? That's really the safest place. Yeah, at night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely can't find your husband he's probably in the wine cellar i'm not sure she wants to find him actually yeah that might be the safest place for her okay maybe so. she's just going down there to get loaded <laughs> i i couldn't really blame her at this point actually yeah i could just drive into town drink with wallfish oh the oh. real estate office is probably closed by now Nah, he, that guy's a sleazeball. He's probably open 24-7 selling cigarettes and whiskey. Yeah, he's got, like, stockings in his mouth and some floozy is there. <laughs> Come on, baby, let me nibble on your nose. <laughs> Do something else weird. <laughs> okay, but I'm charging you 150% for that. Ah, fine! <laughs> Wolfish spit out 100 out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, don't <laughs> investigate. Wait, so why is she saying hello? Because uh, somebody, she heard crying down here. Oh. Somebody oh, here? it's the wall master from Zelda. Yeah. 
Did it just wave? I think so. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> I will miss you. Hey, Adrian, can I get your autograph? <laughs> Just kind of put an ethereal pet in my hand. <laughs> well, that's horror. Uh-oh. Oh, God. She walked into a synthesizer. He's just a rat. A rat, really? After all the shit that's been going on today, you're freaked out by the rat? <laughs> well, that was productive. Yeah, glad we did that. Mm -hmm. The horror. So was the was the ghost hand from the fart cloud then? Did it is it moving rooms? <laughs> I think so. I think that's how you know the demonic possession's getting really bad is when fart cloud's on the move. Yeah, and you can't even fumigate because then you can't tell you know what you're spraying. <laughs> just yeah, just do it slow, just so the ghost has time to escape. Perfect. Why does she grab a pint of lead to drink? <laughs> Why doesn't she just leave? Because, like I said, she paid for the place. Well, yeah, but I mean... I mean, maybe you can buy a house and then walk away from it, but in this post-Obama 9-11 America, not all of us are that fortunate. I suppose, especially after the housing bubble burst and you purchase this fortress or whatever the fuck she's in. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're gonna lose money hand over fist on this. <laughs> this is the kind of castle at least three bosses would be in in another video game. Just on this floor alone. Oh, I thought... Ah, I was expecting another cutscene there, not more just crap walking. Sarah, no, she's gonna go to the back door. Sierra really knows how to make a game enjoyable, is the thing. Yeah. It's like, you gotta space out your horror with about 30 minutes of wandering or so. What the... F so... Like, new sets are just appearing? Oh, no, she changed her mind. <laughs> I I can't tell how these bridges relate to each other exactly. Yeah, I don't... Are we, like, in Arkansas now? I, I don't know. I, I I feel like this... These grounds... <laughs> what the... Wait, never mind. Oh. What was that? <gasps> the sound of an object that you can pick up. It is a... Thing. Rose. Item. A red rose. Oh, now she's just seeing the visions constantly. I was so afraid you wouldn't come. Oh! All I ever think about is you. Oh, Angel. How I love you. Oh, that's Gaston. Come on. <laughs> Zoltan knows about us, Gaston. Aww. Where's the chin? Found my necklace. Oh, not I Zoltan. Told him I it in London. Oh, Zoltan. Okay, so he's the bad guy. That's definitely the one that made Tom Hanks big, right, Zoltan? Yeah. Good, okay. He's not all bad. I can't leave. He'll find me. I know he will. He'll He's a magician. He How could he not? <laughs> Next week, Zoltan's performing his new escape trick for the first time. What? I can set the machine so it won't work. It won't be like <laughs> uh, How does that help the Siren situation? Yes, my darling. You wouldn't survive. I'm sorry, I, I can you turn off your brights in the background? <laughs> hmm. Poor Zoltan. What Oh really? Come on. <laughs> this, come on, now you go. Now just magic shit's happening around you 24-7. Just just get out. Yeah. Uh, they went from slowly building up the plot, or at least attempting to, to just random shit happening now. With a little bit of King's Quest thrown in there. If she sees an ogre, then that's it. Just, I'm calling this video quits. Ugh. Would you say this game is ogre? I, I was hoping it'd be ogre. I was hoping it'd be ogre much earlier. Okay, back to the house. <laughs> yes, here we go. Here we go. Yes, hey. yes, yes. Oh man, the second floor. <gasps> Ooh. Let's let's just go through all the mirrors again, I hope. Maybe she can turn on the faucets, look in the sinks. I wouldn't see I know Don's up here somewhere. I wouldn't be exploring this. 
Okay, third floor. Actually, I think this music on the soundtrack is called Don's Theme. <laughs> it was their wedding song. Just pick up that teddy bear, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> oh shit, the generator started. Now the evil uh, aliens' plans can begin. What? I was making a joke there, but I'm starting to get a bad feeling that I wasn't too far off. Starting? What is this? Wh why was she pointing to the end table? Is it summoning furniture? <laughs> I don't remember that being here. This is actually the, the evil energy that drives overstock.com. Okay, this is where the avatar gets out, and then he'll use these to teleport. <laughs> don't steal this husband of mine. So this is a straight up hologram she's looking at, right? Oh, yeah, I guess it's not a moon gate. Phantasmagoria just doesn't know what it Dragon wants to be. The way. Bad. Wait. What? The dragon will eat the waif. Oh. The dragon will eat the wife? Well, don't... Yeah. Don't do it! Doo -doo. Is there a puzzle here? Boom, boom. So the hologram is also a light projector, I see. What? Lady, that's not how movies work. Oh, I guess so. Oh my god. She could panel. Really? In this house? You're shocked? Cue the Sega Genesis music. <laughs> yeah, what the hell happened there? I don't know. They switched sound chips. <laughs> oh. Let's just stand perfectly still in this room. Oh. Well, you see, a good property inspector would have found this before he bought the house. <laughs> oh. Uh, here's your own personal little manual elevator. <laughs> Let's just watch this room. Well, oh, now she's at the bottom. So are these like all the people killed in World War One or something? I, I guess so. Oh, it's one of it's. Oh, it's a cigarette. Ah, uh, Don's been. Yeah, Don's been here. Oh man, and he's been thinking of her. Has our objective this whole time to been to be to have been find Don? Because I could think of much better things we should have done instead. Yeah, like not find Don. Anything else, really? All right, let's. Oh, not sub basement three. Is her head enormous from this perspective? Or? Yeah. Okay. Let's make sure we go with the fish islands for that. You know, I like that scene so much the first time. I'm glad they did it again. I. Oh, uh -oh it's the Minotaur's labyrinth. Oh. <laughs> Too far. That'd be a long jump. So. We can do it, or can't we? Go get a guard gnome, put her in the hole, just walk over her. Just have the dumb guy throw you over. I forgot his yeah. name. Cyrus. Billy Bacon. Have Cyrus. Yes, Cyrus. Yes. Billy Bacon. I prefer Billy Bacon, actually. I'll just call him that from now on. Put in a quarter, lady. Don't do it. It's gonna be. It's gonna be some more death. Or even worse, your husband. <laughs> oh, huh? it's uh, a confessional for that evil church that released all the spirits that we found behind our own fireplace. Yeah, on the third floor. G good. So there was no point to this secret whatsoever. No. Okay. Uh, just like all the other ones, they're being consistent. Gotcha. I'd like to see a, a an architectural layout of this house, because... It kind of baffles me. This chapter started pretty interesting, but... Even though there's more secrets, it just doesn't seem to be doing anything. No, no, they're boring secrets. <laughs> but then again, when you hit the plateau of a woman up chucking a dead magician's head, you know, you've got nowhere to go but down. This is a good point, really. I think that was uh, officially the end of Act 2, is the thing. So, we what... Yeah, we... How does this work? So, we found two secret passages, and they both lead to the same room, more or less. Okay, good. Yes, and that room is nowhere physically where she started off. Yeah, I... 
I, I don't really understand how this relates to the rest of the house. And are these, like, just shelved rocks or a wine cellar or... That's my answer. What? Oh, come on! There's a whole fucking theater in her house she never saw. Man, do they have surround sound? <laughs> I mean, I know the house is enormous, but this is getting kind of crazy now. And she's gonna sponsored by Time Warner Cable. She's gonna step into the next room. There's a football stadium. Yeah, it's gonna go into the next one. It's Earth Two. <laughs> All right, game, we, we get it. So, is that a big chair or a guillotine? Or? Yeah, it's... Uh, no, it's just a big chair. It's a lot of things. <laughs> well, no, there's that stabby thing up top. Oh, so it's like, oh, she had the dream about that. Yeah, and... This is what you do when you see a big stabby chair. Yes. You investigate right underneath the blade. Uh, yeah, just in case you've forgotten, here is our ridiculous dream sequence from the beginning. Hey, remember? We have computers and we know how to use them, kinda. I should sit in it. Oh god, the colors went all crazy. What? Uh, oh man, it, it glitched out the game. It was so that horrific. Sorry, our palette was limited to eight colors on that shot. We ran out of space on the CDs. So it is Carno. Yeah. Well, that's that was quite the reveal, I suppose. Well, then who's Volvo? Or whoever the other guy oh, is. Oh, Zoltan? Yeah, Zoltan. I think he's a magician after Carno. I think the, this game is so complex. We need cliff notes. I think the evil lineage goes Carno, Zoltan, Don. Yeah, more or less. Carno and Malcolm, 1897. <laughs> yeah, thank you, game. Oh yeah, and Malcolm, the uh, young boy, old man. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh man. It's Dorian Gray in reverse. Oh, uh, well, sorry. It's uh, kind of scary, I guess. Whatever. I went the wrong way. Yeah, even Adrian doesn't really care about that so much after all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> he really was a magician. Then she goes, oh, these are all magic tricks. And then it turns out Don's the one who took the photo. <laughs> She goes upstairs, he's doing the cups and balls, but dropping everything. Yeah. Just screaming, fuck, repeatedly. <laughs> I'm the worst magician, I can't, I can't even be evil, right? Stick to photos, Don. Shut up! <laughs> this is really what you're doing right now? Preen, yeah, preen. She hasn't preened in a long time, you can't give her guff for that. She needs to preen. A woman's got to preen. Well, I guess it is the first working mirror she's seen in a while. Ah, ah, hang in there, baby. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, they got their colors back. We've seen a lot today, but we haven't actually done a thing. Right? Have we ever? What, what has she done? She just kind of stands around while things happen around her, and then she has no interest in them. <laughs> She does yell at the real estate agent. Yeah. So. Yeah, the real estate agent was one of the best scenes I'd have to say. Agreed. So does he have many like weird geometric shapes that try to enter his show? What's with the doors? Or like M's? <laughs> Don? <laughs> what, you, what would lead you to believe that Don? Oh. <laughs> Don is <laughs> Don has technically had a more productive day than we have. Yeah. Look at Don's done a lot more. It's only 8:30. But then again, there's nothing to do in this house. I don't care anymore. Mouthwash. I just don't care. Actually, count yourself. You can't be an asshole. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. So the theater's on the other side of the main entry hall. I guess so. She was in the main entry hall. Yes. How can you... I'm 
going to bed.